Hey everybody, it's RPM RPM with TornadoFrames.com. Real quickly, we're gonna get in the air. I've already got the machine powered up. This is the new Tornado Frames four-piece quad hurricane. Uh, in particular note, I've got on it now the brand new multi-rotor version of the Cobra 2204-2300 kV motors. We're gonna get right in the air, fly, talk about some stuff, then we'll land, I'll do a prop change. We'll talk about the frame and the motor some more and then we'll go right back up in the air. So. Machine's hot, let's go. This will be a flight with FC645 props on three cells. And it's a 1000 milliamp three cell pack. Flight idle on. So this is the new Cobra multi-rotor version of the 2300 comparable to what is now the class leading sunny skies, but also unobtainium. Not that these motors are gonna be any easier to get probably for the near future, but at least now we've got two suppliers of motors. Do I think they're leaps and bounds better than sunny skies? I think they're right on par with them. Uh, there have been a few reports that say they are a little bit more powerful with a lack of efficiency. I'm not good to tell that. They just feel really nice. Feel like a nice 2300 kV motor. Running the uh, running the FC645 props on them. Let's keep it over here so we keep out of the sun so we can all see. So I want to particularly take note of the roll rate here with the 645 props. This isn't in particular to these motors, but it's something I did notice on this frame and I assume applies to other mini frames with going with the six inch props. That when I have these 645 props on, my roll rate is just a touch slower than when I have the 545 props on. Should that be obvious? Yeah, but it just became real apparent when I was testing over the last couple days, these new multi-rotor version motors. Uh, so I was running through all of my props fives and sixes, different brands, HQ, gem fans, FCs. And I was in the front yard just doing some quick flips and noticed this, uh, noticed the difference here. So let's land real quick and let's, uh, let's talk about the frame and the motors. So this is the four piece quad from multi rotor systems or tornado frames. Uh, I currently have got the uh, flip 1.5 board on it. Uh, I've got a lemon receiver uh, soldered onto the board and into the case, so lemon flip in a box. Uh, blue 12 amp ESCs, a couple green LEDs across the back. And of particular note, as we've been talking about, let's disarm this quickly while I start changing props, is the Let's see if we can get a shot of that. The Cobra 2204-28-2300 kV motors with the prop adapt with their prop adapters that now are included. You don't have to buy them separately. Previously, if you got any of the 2204 series motors, the green and black canned versions, you had to buy the long prop adapter, adapter separately. Now they are included with the multi-rotor version motors, and they also come with both regular nuts and nylock nuts. So over here in the corners, I've just got the uh, standards, and then here where you have the potential to blow them off, then I've got the nylock. So at least if I lose them, I don't lose a prop, I don't lose a coned washer, I don't lose a nut, just, you know, fall out of the sky. So, are these 
Are these motors any better like we talked about a second ago? Are they any better than the Sunny Skies? I don't think so. I think there are some advantages to these. I like the fact that it's got a replaceable prop adapter on it. Um, I've also noticed that the, in the prototype, if you go back and look at some, one of my other videos, I'm flying the prototype version of this frame. This one is the production version. I have beat the snot out of that frame. I don't know if I had any crashes on film, but I've beat that thing up hard and I have never bent a prop adapter. Uh, I've tumbled that thing, cartwheeled it, all kinds of stuff. I've cartwheeled it here in this field a couple times and every time, pick it up, throw some props on it, thinking, oh geez, I killed it. Um, one time I had, I do have a, a nicked bearing, so I've crashed it hard enough that I've got a nicked bearing that's a little growly, but yet the prop adapters are still in good shape. So a lot of people I think may bad mouth, oh, we want the integrated uh, motor can with the adapter shaft. Uh, I'm actually encouraging Cobra to not go that route. I think there's some advantages and I really like having this prop adapter on it. The frame, let's talk about that real quick as I tighten up the last props. I'm going to FC 545 props. Uh, the frame is called the four-piece quad, 4PQ Hurricane. And so we've what we've got is we've got a, a right arm and a left arm that are interchangeable. We've got a top deck, and then we've got a lower deck. So that's our 4PQ, the four-piece quad. The Really unique features about this frame are the lower deck is a power distribution board. There is copper tracing on that. Uh, currently, I just have a T connector. The output is right here at the end, so you could put some uh, some wires if you want. I just like the T connector and plug the T connector right there. Uh, works really cleanly for me. Uh, like I said, the frame is super, super durable. Have beat the snot out of it. I really like the styling of it. Uh, Mike at Tornado Frames, I think, has done an awesome job with it. Uh, it does have out here on the very ends of the motors, it's got these little protectors. Uh, I think that's partially also why I haven't beat up a can or bent a shaft is because when I come in, now I'm coming in on that edge, there's no way I can get to a motor can. So really loving this frame, really uh, economical frame. I believe the list price on the frame is $61.99 and I think you're going to regularly see it available uh, with a pretty good discount on it. Um, it's a 240 millimeter frame. I would think it's designed as an acro machine. One other feature of the frame I should mention is that these holes here are drilled so that they can accept a tapped out if you want to put some nylon type landing bolts, landing skids. The first couple flights I had them on, um, we kind of view those nylon skids as a consumable. Matter of fact, you can see here where I broke one and I haven't extracted it yet. Haven't backed it out, it's still sitting in there. Um, it's a consumable, it's like a prop, you're going to break it, it's sacrificial. It does add some protection for your lipo in case you come in hard. I would rather bust a 50 cent, uh, 35 cent plastic screw than smash up a lipo, so as you wish. Okay, so let's put this back in the air and let's note the roll rates with the 5... 545 props opposed to what we had previously, which was the 645 props. As I'm arming the board, I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the fact that in my front yard, I did when I was doing a bunch of those test tops, I did test Gemfan 53s, HQ 53s, and I just don't really like that, that type of. Uh, that size pitch of prop just doesn't do it for me. It doesn't have the pop in the vertical. There may be FPV guys that absolutely love that, but it's just not enough for me. I like these FC uh, 4.5 pitch props the best. And I kind of think that these fives are probably the best choice for the 2300 KV version. Uh, if you watch my previous video where I'm flying the prototype of this frame, I'm flying the standard airplane version, Cobra 2204 1960s on the 645s. I love that combo, that's a great combo. I think this, the 2300s with the 545 props is gonna be a really good combo too. Let's uh, shut up and fly a little bit. Engage my idle up. So you can see, not quite, not quite as quick in vertical and speed. Let's try and do a speed run here to the left. So while it's it's quick, it's not you know obviously as quick as with the six four fives, but it's still 
definitely, I would say, above sporty. <coughs> we haven't changed battery, so I do got a little bit of an alarm going off. <coughs> so let's pull it in here and let's show, uh, let's show that roll rate. So if you notice the roll rate before, now let's watch this roll rate. It's a little bit quicker. I lose a little less altitude with it. Get out of the sun. <coughs> so could I probably put, if I really like the sixes, could I probably get uh, this kind of roll and pitch performance with the six inch props? Yeah, I could probably go back in and adjust it up, but it's just an interesting observation. A little kiss there. <coughs> interesting observation that as I was switching through props, I noticed that those rates changed a little bit.